I'm about ready to put in some artwork into frames. This is a basic tutorial on how to do that if you do not want to take it to a framing shop and have them do it for you. So to do this, first and foremost, you need frames. I myself have bought uh, a few frames here, this size. Secondly, you need something to put in the frames. Inside my frames, I'll be putting in comic books. This particular comic book is a work of art created by the great Sam Keith, an old comic book illustrator. And that's just what I'm doing. Put up a little decoration around here. Now, before you order your frames, you have to know the size of the artwork. Know your artwork and then measure it. This comic book here is a standard comic book size. It's six so. and five eighths by 10 and one eighth. So that's the size of frame that I ordered. I ordered these from Hobby Lobby. Um, I recommend it more than a frame store because they actually do give you half off and some for some reason frames are outlandishly expensive these days. But as you can see the size there, Right here, six and five eighths by 10 and one eighth. Now then, you take your artwork, you bring it up and you make sure it fits. Ta-da, it fits beautifully. And then I always like to turn it over and see, oh, what's it, what's it gonna look like when it's framed? Oh God, it looks beautiful, look at that, yeah. All right, thirdly, you need backing board. You can go get backing board at Target, um, wherever. It's sold everywhere. You can do it as foam board. I personally have a bunch of old illustration board left over. Um, I used to paint on this stuff all the time, but I've since moved into wood paneling. So um, I have a little bit of extra illustration board laying around. Next, you're gonna need a few other tools, namely something sharp to cut with, a ruler to measure with, and a fitting tool. That all looks like this. Here we have a ruler. Look at that, ruler. You need a pencil because you're gonna have to mark out where on your illustration board you, your lines to cut. Then you need this fancy thing. This is called a fitting tool. I'll show, demonstrate how it works a little bit later but it's really very simple. You just put on a multi, uh, flexible multi-point. This is, uh, this, they come in a stack like this. You have to break them apart. They're just these little things. You insert them into this machine right here, and then you simply squeeze. I will be using a mat cutter uh, to cut my pieces. This is my mat cutter. Um, I've had it for a long time because I used to cut a lot of mats. Most of you probably don't have that, but that's okay. You don't need it. I just recommend drawing straight lines with your pencil and use scissors to cut out your things. Don't use anything that's going to hurt you. Be safe. Use something that's not going to hurt you like round tip scissors. That's just the basics. Now I'll basically just time lapse through it and show you guys how it's done. So I did a little bit of cheating there. I laid the comic book itself down onto the backing board and I made sure that the lines were um, where they needed to be. Now, because this is just backing board, it doesn't have to fit in ridiculously tight. So I made the lines a little bit smaller so that the backing board is sure to fit in the back of the frame. Um, it doesn't have to fit like a glove. It just has to be good enough to hold the piece back there.
Now we're to the point where we can lay our artwork in our frame. Then you lay the backing board on top of that. And then you take your fitting tool. Anyways, I broke my little flexi multi points apart. I um, got them here. I got my frame with my backing board. So let's just go ahead and lay in our first piece of art. Here's my comic book. There's my frame. Let's lay the comic book in gently as we love it. Oh, perfect. Take one of your backing boards that you cut. I cut out four because I bought four frames. There we go. And let me show you how to use this tool. All right, here's my frame. Here's my backing board. The comic book is underneath here. This is the fitting tool. Now, if you buy a fitting tool, it might very well likely not be exactly the same as mine, but they're pretty self-explanatory. You tell it, take your little multi-point here, and they're just, they're tough to hold on to. And the way mine works is you just stick it in, sharp points out, if you can all see that, sharp point is out. Then you just come over. I'm only going to do it on four sides. You size up the, so I can squeeze this. See that? And then I can slide along here. That way you can do all types of sizes. Size it up. There you go. Now my points are directly there and squeeze. Undo and ta-da. Let's go through them all and see how they look. Ta-da. Start with ta-da. There's this side. Very simply squeeze. Now, framing companies will charge you an arm and a leg, making you think that this is some spectacular feat they're doing. Or I don't know. Hobby Lobby, I guess, does this for free, so maybe take it to Hobby Lobby. But if you don't want to give into the Hobby Lobby way, do it this way or don't look at that that's my nice little framed comic book Whew. beautiful And there we have it. Four pieces of artwork, all framed up and looking beautiful. A little shiny in this light, but gorgeous nevertheless. Now I could hang them on my wall and have a little bit more inspiration and bling inside of my little studio slash guest bedroom here. Hopefully this video was helpful. If not, Sorry to waste your time. Have a good one.